makes me want to be on the beach on a tropical destination Ugh. who do you love hi loves welcome back to my channel i am halicia but i go by lee is my camera crooked hell yeah get it together girl if you guys are new to my channel i do fashion beauty lots of travel and lately i've been vlogging a lot so if you're into just lifestyle in general then make sure that you subscribe i think that you guys will love it here and i want to get into summer trends the summer trends that i'm loving the summer trends that i'm trying and also what pieces i've picked up to kind of like fit into these trends i try to always get quality trendy pieces because I'm likely gonna wear them a lot, but they don't necessarily have to be like designer or overpriced, just, you know, like those good quality mid-range pieces. So these are the trends that I'm loving and the pieces that I picked up. All things sparkles. This has been a huge trend probably since New Year. It never died down. And on every website now, you're gonna find something that's either sequin or sparkly or diamante something of that nature i feel like texture and glam and these over the top pieces are super trending and i'm not gonna lie to you i'm here for it i would much rather wear pieces like this year round than just wearing them kind of like in that new year's wintery season it can add a bit to your fit so i picked up a couple of pieces I only picked up one clothing item, but just because I know, like, I didn't want to dive into it too much to where it's, like, overwhelming in my wardrobe. But I definitely wanted to have at least one or two pieces that fit the bill. This is the first one. It's a green sparkly lioness top. It is an Attico dupe that I'll post right here. So, I definitely think that I could get away with this year-round because it is mini. And I think that in the evening, in the summertime, it's going to be perfect because it's green. It's still like festive. And then New Year's, of course. So I do feel like it is one of those pieces that I can get a lot of wear out of. And honestly, she bad. This piece is beautiful. I cannot wait to put it on my body. And I think I have the perfect place in mine along with the perfect fit in terms of clothing i also got this swimsuit and this swimsuit is by the brand osaird i got it from farfetch and i think that me putting up a picture of it will be better but these are the bottoms so it's literally like the string bikini bottoms these bottoms i'm not gonna lie they are cheeky but the top kind of doubles as a shirt because it is a wraparound bandana triangle top but it's all sequin so i thought this was kind of cool because it's like you get a swimsuit that's sequin obviously you can it's meant to be worn during this time of year but i could also just wear the top and it's still good it's transitional it's sexy the back is out it's giving it still fits the bill of the sequin sparkly trend and then in terms of accessories, I got this Brandon Blackwood Diamond Taste Sale bag in pink. And I got it in green. So this is what she looks like. The pink and the green. There was a blue one that I was, I was debating between the blue and the pink. But I have like three blue bags. And so I was like, let me just get the pink. The pink is super cute. It's girly. It's a classic color. And it's not too, too bright, like, in your face pink. And then the green is also, like, a little bit more muted. It's more like a mossy green, like a plant green. My favorite kind of green is not like that Bottega green or like a lime green. So I think that it will have, you know, longevity, essentially. The next trend is mini skirts. The skirts are getting real mini. You, you got the Miu Miu mini, micro mini skirt. All brands are putting out these super, super mini skirts. Me personally, I've always loved this trend because short, short girls and mini skirts, we just go together. Like, it works. 
it is one of the most flattering things on our body you get to show off your legs and it makes us honestly look taller so i i kind of i really really like the micro minis i'm just not going to wear them but i do really think that that is an amazing trend especially if you are short i have a one that's like a neon too which really is another trend these bright color neons are coming in this one is from mango and it is just a neon mini skirt that's satin it's like this really thick heavy satin and this is probably i only have one other old skirt from zara that is this short so i love this skirt definitely 10 out of 10 and of course all of the items are going to be linked below the next trend that i am loving is cargos and wide leg jeans i'm honestly happy that skinny jeans skinny pants are out they're not flattering on me they never were flattering on me i don't like them and honestly when skinny jeans were in i i hated wearing jeans like i hated them i'm like this isn't it and i think i understand why now it's just not a trend that's flattering on me and honestly i don't think that it's flattering on a lot of people unless you're wearing like boots or tall boots or something like that that's just my opinion so i'm happy to see that like wide leg looser fitting jeans are in and cargos i do have some cargos from the crypt and they are denim i have not worn these yet literally just got them in the mail and they have all these pockets on them but they are super super wide leg you can tighten them at the bottom but i won't i love them as wide leg as they are they are super long on me but you know they just gonna drag on the floor because we gonna make it work because i do personally just like the jeans i like the style of the jeans and you guys already know i'm obsessed with my mason margella distress straight leg jeans because of the fit so cargos and wide legs 10 out of 10 i will recommend and i do think that it's a shape that's flattering on everybody another trend that's trending is crochet now, i'm not gonna lie initially i wasn't feeling crochet i was a little like mm, it's not giving but as it has evolved, I've seen some amazing pieces. Now, one thing on my wish list is this Zara macrame dress. I feel like it kind of covers two trends. It's like cutouts, which is trending right now. Great trend. And the kind of crochet. I feel like it's a good balance. It's like an extra layering piece. And for the summer when it's hot outside, the texture and the dimension that it gives I, i'm telling you it's gonna make any look pop off so i love this for whatever reason i've missed it it's sold out i'm gonna try to get it but this dress in particular is on my wish list i also picked up this piece recently from daily paper which is a black on brand i wore this already so i'll show this on the screen but it is crochet and i mean it's fully like you know a crochet dress but it's it's way more interesting than i've seen most crochet dresses so i love that about it and it has a split and it's long like i think it said midi but you know i'm short so it almost hits me at the ankles this dress is phenomenal i've literally only had it for like two weeks and i've worn it like four times because on hot days when i still want to stunt I'm putting this dress on like that is a fact because I can wear like minimal skims undergarments and like the sheer mesh undergarments and I get the breeze but I'm covered it's like perfect so I can honestly understand this is one of the hottest summers that I've experienced so once I got this dress I started noticing myself gravitating towards more like crochet or really really or even linen any lightweight pieces like this so i am loving that and then the other piece that i got that was crochet i got this from mango also and it's this piece oh my gosh it's so pretty it's sheer it's long sleeves the sleeves kind of bellow out a little bit 
it's fitted all the way down and it does have a split i'm not gonna lie it has a split on both sides i kind of want to raise the split i really really do but i don't want to ruin the integrity of the dress because the dress is stunning however i want to lift them splits up and give it just a little bit more oomph but you know it's crochet i love it if i cut out the lining in it like separate the lining from the dress i could wear it as a beach cover-up also or i could kind of switch up what i style under it which i might do but for now at least for my first wear of it i am gonna keep it in its like natural state because i ain't gonna lie crochet is growing on me i'm not gonna get a whole lot of pieces like i might get one more tops and leave it alone but i do like the trend surprisingly i like this particular trend i know platforms y'all platforms are trending and I, I feel like i said this in my last video but i want to say that like again let's reiterate it most of the trends this year i love the fact that platforms are trending is an amazing thing for short girls okay because we're on trend and we're taller that's amazing okay i already have the cold gaia platforms i've showed you guys those i have a dupe of the gucci platforms the rubber platforms and i have the regular gucci platforms i got a new pair i might have to say this for another video but i definitely got another pair so i have platforms in heels and in flats sometimes i get them in my boots but that's like what's new in and here's the dupe of the gucci like clog platforms i love this trend i am going to continue to purchase it i don't care 10 out of 10 i will recommend i don't even think that if you're tall you shouldn't go for it i think having a longer leg is one of the sexiest things about a women's body and if a shoe can give it to me i am going to take it this trend is phenomenal okay not not all of it is done correctly because i've seen quite a few brands that i'm like that ain't it however the trend in general she's that girl okay the next trend that i'm loving is the feathers the freaking feathers honestly i was on this trend before this trend was a trend but i am happy that it is trending okay i wore last year to a wedding i wore these heels these are house of cb they're old i don't even think the house of cb makes them anymore okay i've had them for some time and they are oops phenomenal in one of my recent black on business videos i told y'all or showed y'all the kendall miles heels that are feathery right look at the bottom of these things girl when i say i, I be wearing these i always gravitate towards these i ordered a feather top from nasty gal it has not arrived yet but as soon as it arrives i'm likely going to wear it in a video or something because i'm very excited about that top and of course new in are these kendall miles mules so she launched three new colors teal yellow and fuchsia and i picked up the teal like immediately add to cart so they're almost the same as the green ones the green ones have like studs and these don't she took away the studs but every and i feel like these are fluffier but these might have just you know no these are definitely fluffier yeah and these are a little bit fluffier i think than before and i love these and guess i'm dropping everything and i've already worn them literally can't keep my hands off of texture i'm so drawn to it so feathers trending but i love them either way it goes i've always kind of not always but i wear them a lot on shoes i try to do a lot of my textures on my shoes 
or like in a bag or something but especially on my shoes so now i can kind of incorporate it in the actual fit like the top because whoo we're excited so the whole androgynous tailored suits that's trending right now and i'm here for it also winter summer spring fall period in general i just wore a linen suit stunning okay and like even like the tailored look i just think that it looks really good these are new in pants too i wore these already and they are from mango i just love like this fold over detail in them so even though they're very structured it still kind of gives you like a sloppy or um statement effect and i like that um i like that about it because it truly fits like my style because i also really like street style so this i can wear this with sneakers i wore it with some platforms because they are long and i need to get these hemmed but these are some dope pants. They are from Mango. They're a little wrinkled right now, but that's new in. And also the shirts that I wore from Linus, I, I wore this blue one. And I don't know if these are going to still be available, but if they are, I'm definitely going to link them. But I also got the white one and it's kind of washed out right now. Hopefully it'll focus. But all of this is open and it just has three clasps in the middle. So you still get this sexiness. You just get this little bone right down the middle. You don't get anything else. You don't get side boot. Well, I guess it would depend on how busty you are. But for me, you don't get anything else. It's just like this very understated sexiness. And the shirt is super oversized. It's very tailored. It's very structured. But then it's sexy. I absolutely love that. I also got these pieces from an Amazon, the drop collection with arlo i want i really want to say his name is arlo they haven't came in the mail yet but they should be here very soon and his pieces kind of have that same effect also so just having that structured or tailored pieces it's heavily trending right now but i also feel like it's a it's classic so you know you can't really go wrong with this and 10 out of 10 this trend is chef's kiss it is phenomenal and then the very very last trend because i feel like i mentioned cutouts with the crochet so we won't get too too much into cutouts because that's been trending for some time but i do like that trend i've been doing cutouts in my jeans so you know what let's talk about cutouts <laughs> because i did just get some new jeans and they fit the cutout trend and i do like cutouts okay i finally finally try good american people have been talking so much about good american jeans and y'all know i go to the tailor if you've been watching my vlogs you're well aware that i get a lot of my bottoms tailored that's really the only way that they fit really well and i would rather have well-fitting clothes because if i don't like the way that they fit i'm not gonna wear them and that just is what it is so i finally tried good american and let me good american is doing great but in the cutout trend these are actually some mason margella dupe pants they have these like a burnout holes all the way down mason margella has these jeans they're over a thousand dollars now i think the cheapest that i found them is like three hundred dollars but they only have the really really small sizes Good American came out with these jeans and I did not have to get them altered, not even at the waist. And they are the perfect length. They are doing great things over there and I love these jeans and to kind of have that dupe of that designer, but way, way cheaper. Their jeans are, they kind of range, they're about 150. So yes, they are a little bit more expensive, but I think that they are worth the price that they are i love these and then i also picked up these jeans and they have like a cutout almost like at the knee or it's like a little above it i think somewhere in that area so very cute and the cutout is actually sewn so with the cutout trend you can get tops you can get 
bodysuits. You can get jackets. I've even seen jackets with this trend. Like literally, ja oh my, and they are stunning. Jeans, you name it. Dresses, this trend is trending and it has been for some time. And I actually think that it is a trend that is going to continue. It's going to you know stand the test of at least a couple of more years i can definitely see it going in that direction so i love this last trend y'all is the whole sheer mesh trend this trend i have a love-hate relationship with it i do love a lot of i do love the trend in general let me say that i love the trend in general but i have seen this done wrong so many times so to me it's kind of difficult to find pieces that that do it well or that look really good in this trend because it can look cheap that's the thing and that's i see it looking cheap and cheesy a lot however kai collective has mastered it and this is another black on brand i've shown this on my channel right now this is one of her dresses this one is like a midi um it's super stretchy and although it's sheer it's something about her sheer pieces where you can't see through them like you might be able to see like if you come up really close you might be able to see like the nipple or something but like for the most part it's very these are very easy to wear and it's like sheer done correctly it also could be all of the ruching so it's like even though the fabric is in double line look at how it still like overlaps it. So that is it for the summer trends that I'm loving. Let me know your favorite trends down below in the comments. And of course, all of the links to all of these pieces, if they are still available, are going to be left down below. And I typically post my entire outfits on my Like to Know It account. So I'm definitely going to leave that linked also. So that way you can shop by outfits and you can see everything, even if it's from different brands. So make sure that you follow me on Like to Know It. I love you guys. That is it. I will see you in my next video. Bye. I just love these sleeves. Huh. Makes me want to be on the beach on a tropical destination. Ugh. Who do you love?